During his tenure at the University of Akron, Keith Dambra showed a different motivation for success than most head coaches at the Division I level. His commitment saw the Akron basketball program grow into one of the top mid-majors in the nation. The 21st head coach of the Zips, he wasted no time putting his stamp on the program. He is Akron's all-time winningest coach with a record of 305 and 139. In his 13 seasons at Akron, the Zips finished no worse than third 12 times. His team's averaged 23 and a half wins annually. In uh, year two, Akron had 23 wins, and by 06-07, Dan Broad began a stretch of seven straight MAC Tournament Championship game appearances. They would also win the MAC Tournament and go to the NCAAs three times and would appear in the semifinals a MAC record 12 years in a row, winning a program best 27 games in 2017. Named the MAC Coach of the Year three times, he coached Akron players 18 times to first second or third team all-conference honors. A former three-year starter, team captain, and team MVP for the Zips baseball team where he played third base, Dan Brock graduated from UA with a bachelor's degree in management in 1982 and earned an MBA from UA in 1984. Well, I think any time that uh, you can coach and play at the university where you grew up, where your mother was a professor, where all your friends and family are, you know, I'm really an Akronite. I've been I've lived in Akron the majority of my life, so nothing's really changed. So for me, it's an exciting time. And then to be able to go in with Drew and Rome as well, who were really an integral part of us turning our program around, uh, it's thrilling. Well, I thought when we, when we beat Temple in the NIT at Temple, I thought that was a big deal, especially with uh, Coach Cheney coaching. Uh, I thought that kind of got us, got us over the hump. And then going to that first NCAA tournament was, you know, obviously thrilling since uh, Akron hadn't been in the NCAA tournament since Coach Huggins was here. So for me, uh, the main thing was just the consistency of how good our teams were over time. And that's really a tribute to the players that we had. Well, I've been around this university since I was born, really. My mother was a college professor here and, you know, started the women's studies program and battled for uh, people's rights and women's rights and uh, was in, was one of the initiators of the, the union for the faculty. So. I've been around this university for as long as I can remember and, uh, you know, just, just great memories and just honored to be back, really.